Hey, beard lovers. So today I want to... Ah! Gary, the explosion went off early. What's going on? <gasps> Gary had a heart attack and died and fell on top of the explosion button. Today's video is dedicated to Gary. Spend all your time waiting for that second chance. Okay, that's good. Wizzy Wada! Okay, so today we're doing a thing called Explosion Wednesday. I'm not sure if it's a thing, but we're testing it out. Today in Explosion News, why your eyes burn when you wake in the wee hours. Side note, do you think we call it wee hours because that's the time you wake up to go wee wee? <laughs> that's just a side note, that's not the front note. Front note, hey, you know how sometimes when you wake up and your eyes feel like <laughs> Or maybe to a smaller degree than that, but probably not, but maybe. So why is this? Well, according to the article, it could be a combination of working too hard before you go to sleep. If you're working on a computer, that causes you to not blink as much, which causes you to not moisten your eyes enough. That's why I usually try to work like this. Oh, something in my eye. And the other reason is because of the lacrimal gland, which moistens your eyes when you're awake, but not when you're asleep. In fact, the reason they call it lacrimal, and I'm an expert on this, is because of the lack of crime they cause all hours of the night, because bandits' eyes are too dry to do crime. That's not true. Not true at all. You completely made that up. Completely out of thin air. You're a blowhard. The hardest. You should probably be committed. Direct me to the nearest straitjacket store, kind sir. I think they'll provide them for you. I prefer blue. You don't get an option. Looks are everything. I've decided I'm not going. What's happening? Not sure. I've had a lot of coffee today. How do I get out of this conversation? I don't know. Please, God, somebody help us. I feel scared. I'm worried I'm going to starve to death. I can't feel my legs. Jump into the alligator pit. Genius. <laughs> In other news, Super Comet! What? Or Super Dud. Oh. We'll see. Mm. So a new comet was discovered that could be frickin' brighter than the full moon, which led Astronomy Magazine's Michael E. Bakich to say it probably will become the brightest comet anyone alive has ever seen! Yeah, thank you, Michael, for calling in and reading what you said in your exact voice. Bye, Michael. Goodbye. This is potentially amazing or hugely disappointing. Imagine what it would be like in late 2013 to see something brighter than the moon in the sky. I mean, there's nothing brighter than the moon in the sky. Nothing. I can't think of one thing. Not one thing at all. Here's what I think it'll be like for me. Well, let's see. If it's the future, I'd probably have a hoverboard and my hair would be, you know, if I don't get a haircut. And if I keep working out, I'd look something like this. And I'd be eating chips and salsa, naturally. And then the comet would go by. And then because of the brightness of the comet, I'd find a hair in my chips and salsa. I probably would have eaten that hair if it wasn't for the comet. Now, if the comet fizzles out when it gets to our galaxy, like scientists say might happen, I would have just been standing there, and I would have eaten the hair. Actually, scientists would have predicted months earlier that the comet wasn't going to be big. So I would have been already disappointed months ago, probably dejected and depressed. Meaning I wouldn't have worked out, probably ate more, lost my hair due to stress. Yikes, hopefully not that much hair. Wouldn't have been able to afford a hoverboard board because I quit working. I wouldn't even be standing there because there wouldn't be anything to see. I probably would have been out drinking at a bar and then on my way home I would have been hit by a car and died. And then another car would have hit that first car. And then they both would have exploded. Then an eagle would have pooped on me. Oh god, I hope the comet doesn't fizzle out. That'd be terrible. Being that bald. What? 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 Did you say something? What? I can't hear you. Hair is covering my ears. What? We So beer lovers, it's probably in your best interest to submit a wink video for the end of my videos to moisten your eyes so they don't feel in the morning. To do that, make them a video response to my latest video. Try not to make them longer than 10 seconds. Also, don't forget, if you hated this video, please click thumbs down. Now I must be going. Well, can't go that way. That's the previous video. Can't go that way. That is or will be the next video, depending on when you watch this. I guess I will just zoom away into nothingness. Or I'll explode. I guess that was an option too.